with it comes an expectation from observers of an elevated role in the royal family, as the teenager is widely considered Her Majesty's favorite grandchild. The 17-year-old is the daughter of the Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, 57, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, 56. And Sophie, also mother to James Viscount VII, 13, offered insight into how unaware the young royals were growing up in their unique position. She told the BBC in 2016 of how Louise, for a period, had not understood her grandmother as the Queen, or that there is only one Queen. This was a shock to the system, for young Louise, who had been confused by chatter at school. According to the Countess, Louise had asked why people keep on telling her that Grandma is the Queen. Sophie added, I don't think she has grasped that perhaps there was only one Queen. Speaking to the Sunday Times in 2020, Louise's mother described the family dynamic, and that when the children are with Her Majesty, 95, she is simply their grandmother. As Louise has grown up, a royal source has claimed she reminds the queen of her daughter, Princess Anne, who is all about duty. A further royal source added that Louise is known to be level-headed, thoughtful and kind, and reminds the queen of herself as a young woman. Much discussion has taken place about what the future holds for Louise, with her 18th birthday imminent on November 8. The milestone is of significance because Louise can choose to adopt the HRH title, a decision James will also make when he reaches the same age. The Countess of Wessex did suggest to the Sunday Times, however, that it is highly unlikely Louise or James will choose to adopt the title. It has been an important summer for Louise as she received her as level results. According to Hello, her chosen subjects were English, drama, history and politics, but it isn't clear which she will take forward to complete her A-levels. It is not known what grades Louise, who attends single-sex boarding school St. Mary's Ascot in Berkshire, achieved, but her mother has spoken in the past about the possibility of university. Another royal source suggests Louise is already getting media training and self-defense classes, and that she is the sort of kid who can impress adults and get down on a child's level, all within the same space. Described as patient, Louise has spent recent months babysitting Princess Charlotte, 6, and strengthening her particularly close relationship with the Queen. A high-profile role in the firm would indicate Louise following her mother's footsteps. Sophie is likely to continue playing a pivotal role in the royal family over the next few years, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk. Although it is not expected that her children will carry out royal engagements, there is little doubt that her work and that of her husband Prince Edward, is invaluable. It is probable that, as there are now fewer working royals, it might increase in the years ahead. Royal sources have described Sophie as dedicated and hardworking, much like Louise. This is supported by a royal source who told The Sun in 2019 the Queen sees Sophie like another daughter. Sophie joined the ranks of the royal family in 1999 after her wedding to Prince Edward. The couple welcomed Louise in 2003, followed by James in 2007.